Hey there, Captains! Today we're having a look at the Crossfader node in Resolume Wire. This tiny and seemingly simple node has a couple of really cool features up its sleeve. So let's dive right in. The Crossfader node takes two signals and has a mix slider to blend between them. The obvious example would be to crossfade between two video signals. Here I have two video player nodes and I can crossfade between them. This is very similar to how crossfading works in Resolume Arena and Avenue. When we hover over the inlets of the crossfader, we can see that it takes quite some more data types. So let's explore those, starting with float data. When using the float types, we can set two values. The mix slider will allow us to interpolate between these two points. In this example, I'm crossfading between two positions. This technique gets a lot more interesting when crossfading between collections. In this example, I am crossfading between a circle pattern node and a collection of random data generated by two Perlin generators. Because we are interpolating between the two collections, we can use the mix slider as a sort of chaos slider, slowly introducing more randomness into our pattern. The crossfader can also be used to crossfade between colors. This can be a very useful trick if you slowly want to fade between two tints. Since the mix parameter can also be modulated, I can add a sine oscillator in unipolar mode to do the fading for me. But the party only really starts when we start using collections. In this example, I allow the user to compose two palettes. The crossfader is then used to switch between them and the result is applied to the incoming texture. Using input groups, I can keep everything night and tidy in the arena interface. I was saving the best for last, because you can crossfade the shape 2D type. Here I have a star and a circle shape, and I can crossfade them into new shapes. In this patch I am using a collection of circles being modulated by Perlin generators. The circles are then merged into a single shape and are then crossfaded with a rectangle. The merge node is here to prevent the instantiation of the crossfader node, saving us some unnecessary calculations. And in this final patch I have combined all of the techniques above to make an organic patch that allows for some crazy modulation. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. The demonstration patches used in this tutorial can be found in the video description. I say goodbye and until we meet again.